today we are mostly driving around London in a tank. But it's not a tank, it's an Abbott. Self-propelled gun. Hey up mate, how you doing? Bit cold with them shorts on, you'll be hanging them up soon, wouldn't you? How some? You won't be at four o'clock. That's when two tanks arrive from Ireland, one with no tracks on. It's got to be just so. Just so, right in the middle. Just so, a little bit to the left. Oh, we've got new tracks on this, I remember now. Yeah, new tracks. It's gonna be a joy to drive. A joy. He's happy now. Now that lorry driver there, he wants to set our Jeep wheels and guess what we just that ran over? The last time that a Jeep. I hope not. I really hope not. Uh, these are the new tracks, aren't they? Are you sure? I thought we swapped them. So they don't go dilly dot, dilly dot, dilly dot, dilly dot, dilly dot as you go down the road. Eh? So I thought we'd do it in an but in a hearse with glass sides. Yeah, but I thought we were doing it in this as well. Are you sure we haven't swapped them? So, uh, today we're off to London. I'm following in pursuit. I've got plenty of tools and oils and all sorts in the back. And uh, yeah. And he will not be getting six points on his license. You see, it is possible to film other people when they're driving. Now, what we're all excited about is I've put a periscope in the back of the Abbott because apparently we've been informed by the Metropolitan Police that um, there's going to be uh, demonstrations outside Apple iPhone stores. And guess what we're doing? We are doing um, Apple iPhone stores. We're delivering to all the different stores in a tank, unbreakable cases. Now, I reckon one of these cases, when I say case, I mean a case holding 200, might disappear. So you might see um, very cheap Apple iPhone indestructible cases. Uh, we could probably run a few over as well. I think, yeah, I think we can test it. I'm going to pop Ashley's phone into one of the Apple iPhone cases, run it over the Abbott four or five times, and you can see just how durable these cases are. And whatever they are in the shops, we're going to be selling them at 30% off or total price. 30% off. Well, we've arrived in sunny London and uh, the uh, beautiful old Range Rover did us proud. Parked in a bit of a dodgy area. I'm sure there's a fine coming. There always is. Everything you do in London, there's a fine. Now we've got a bus. Cheeky bastard pulled up behind us just because it's in a bus lane. I mean, you know, cut us some slack, boys. So we'll, um, Dylan's, Dylan's done a lovely job of washing the old pig and uh, we're going to rattle it around and scare a few people. Now we had a wonderful phone call with the Metropolitan Police this morning and um, we're delivering um, iPhones to all the Apple stores, iPhone cases, indestructible ones, and it turns out there's demonstrations outside the um, Apple iPhone stores. So um, I bought a periscope, we may have to go into combat mode, full combat mode. That's where the fun begins. Bloody buses, bloody buses getting in the way. Didn't even think it was a bloody bus stand. Oh, it is. Well, this is where uh, Ashley gets the Range Rover on the back of the lorry. And uh, that way we save a bit of parking. Now I've got to think about Eulers and congestion charge. Not for the tank, but for the um, Range Rover, strangely. Ben from um, Apple has arrived. I'm not sure who the two Chinese guys are. I'm not sure if they're to do with him. It could be. I just don't know. I don't know, we're already trapped in quite a crowd. Hi girls! That was a bit rude, wasn't it? Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I should have said. Now, I've got to be careful for the, um, the sun shining off the lorry driver's head. Otherwise, it could affect the uh, viewing. All looking good. Ashley and Ben are planning the attack. We have a pincer movement near St. Paul's. And then on to Apple iPhone. Shop number one, total destruction, then on to other shops. Actually looking cool in front of a tank in London. Lots of surprised people. Uh, it's uh, looking pretty good. Uh, sometimes I do things so neatly it uh, fucking hurts. But there we go. You just put them on, give it a smack, come straight through, put your bomb on. Bish bash bosh, like we've done it before. I don't know what... Ah, mouse, moose, mouse. I had the first one um, upside down. I thought it was kind of slow or something, but uh, anyway, it's all good. It's all good. And we're doing a lovely little convoy along here, producing a lovely little convoy. And uh, we got rid of the buses. Bloody buses get in our way. 
come along here passing in the bloody bus stands and um, you know it's just inconvenient ah Dylan missed a bit yep he's getting comfortable yes so there we go one Abbott beaten into submission for many many years we've got four beautiful road Abbots probably cleaner than this but this is our favourite somehow because it's done a lot of work and it's always behaved itself. Um, we've got a big hammer, we've got some string, we've got some chewing gum, we've got some ATF, we've got a girl with a loud hailer. No woman needs a loud hailer really do they? They always make themselves hard. They just burn that in the street. Just burn it. <laughs> her bag was very cream. Pardon? Her bag was very cream going in the back of the Abbott. Oh, oh dear. nothing Fate. white Fate. go anywhere near a military vehicle. It never looks white for long. Have you checked down all these telephone numbers actually? You never know. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Actually, hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait! For God's sake, man, hurry up and wait! Bloody hell! Hurry up and wait! Hurry up and wait! Hey? Pound a minute! Pound a minute! Hurry up and wait! Hurry up and wait! Well, I've hurried up and uh, I've waited enough now, and I'm gonna go. Whether they're ready or not, because I've got the urge to drive. And that's more important than the booking. When you've got the urge to drive, you've got to drive. They've got the drone, they've got the camera. He's got a big thumbprint right on his legs. Now he's riding along on a bike in front of me, stopping at um, advances, uh, advances spots for me to, um, to get, he wants to basically get good bits of footage, but very dangerous stopping on a bike in front of someone. Look at that lady trip on his drone. Very, very, very tricky. Hey, uh, let's see Low Green. See Low Green. Oh, you see them all in London, don't you? Hey, see See, see Low Green. You see them all. All the celebs are in London. Today I'll probably see 20 different celebrities. And you know what? There you go. Shania Twain. Bloody hell. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Looks good to me. Protect your phone with a tank. Quite right. Ashley's going to sleep, but he was up early this morning. Ashley! We know who he is, don't we? Hey? CeeLo. CeeLo Green. I oh, bloody know, mate. There's a story there. There's a story there. Uh, I know. I know. Now, that looks like there's two bikes on the go. Or is this like a helmet? I don't know. Now, this is the bus lady. He who must, she who must be command obeyed. More power than God. Hiya! When I wave to people, I have to be very careful. It doesn't look like a hit something. You know, that doesn't go down well anymore. I can drive anyway, mate. I'm in a tank. Any way I want to go. Yeah, anyway. Backwards, forwards. No such thing as a full car park. There's always enough room to squeeze one in. Yep. Yep. And I'll squeeze one in. Look at these girls. They're going to walk past the tank. They won't even notice it. Won't even notice it. Look, they're talking about boyfriends or what happened last night. Won't even notice that. I could be on fire. I could be standing here naked on fire and they wouldn't even know there was a tank here. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Whereas that girl there, dressed in NATO green, she spotted me. She'll be asking me for a post. To people interested, they love a good tank. There's some builders over there, they love a good old tank. They do. Yeah. They should be on the Monty in September. Oh. They've had a bit of a scrum down and they've decided that um, they don't want to offend any demonstrators that may be in London. 
and uh, so they're going to um, we're going to wrap up early I think it's about 11 o'clock and uh, we're all going home and that's it and now whether and actually I go home or we get into the signs and we just go um, sightseeing yes we might just go sightseeing around London everything's paid for low loader we've got five hours in London if only we had should we pull up outside the Grove and see if anyone wants to go for a bit of a sightseeing tour it's off it's off they've knocked it on the head so we've got to do the double whammy now. We need some rich Arabs want to go sightseeing round London in a tank. Uh, well, actually, um, 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 uh, the whole booking's been cancelled. They've got a lonely tank sitting there. We've been paid. I've just spoken to the concierge of the Mayfair Hotel, where the Prince, Mr H, resides every other year and calls us down. And the manager always comes down and says, Nick, your tank is very beautiful. How's business? Anyway, the concierge is going to ask all the customers if anyone would like a blast round in a tank. So if there's anyone in London or about London or knows someone in London who wants to go sightseeing, uh, Westminster Bridge, Trafalgar Square, in a tank, get on this phone quick and uh, we'll come and pick you up from your hotel. Take you for a jolly. It's something we normally do, but it's godly expensive because of the low loader. Well, today we're here anyway. We're here anyway. So it's going to be much, much cheaper. We'll go for a drag race. Scrub up, so uh, us scruffy buggers are allowed in Mayfair. We're uh, going to see if there's anyone wants to want to ride around London in a tank. Well, we're bored now. We're going home. We've talked to lots of interesting people. Very nice, um, very nice American lady worked for Ralph Lauren, and uh, actually informed her that. Um, in um, in America, sorry, not in America, in Saudi Arabia, it's not a horse on the uh, shirts. It's a camel. It's a camel, and she was shocked, and yet she's one of the top bods. So there you go. Every day is a school day. So uh, the Mayfair, we've dropped the brochures in and um, talked to Jeremy, the concierge, and maybe we'll be back another day. But it's a shame because um, it was kind of subsidised today for people to come out and play. There you go. They all love it, but um, they probably, well, they just don't know, do they? And I, I can't be chatting to too many people. I'm a busy man. Come on, home, James. Stopping distance and a half. Let the smoke catch up with us. It's been about 10 minutes now, and I think we've made it about 100 metres down Regent Street. Oh my god, there's so many lights. How does anybody get anywhere? Oh, 
very busy, absolutely rammed. We've recently found out that the horn on this vehicle works. We're green. Meanwhile, back at the, the uh, back cave, a couple of 432s have arrived from uh, Ireland down the road. Wow! We sold this as a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. He's done some road. Look at that, look. You don't see that very often. He's done some miles in that old girl. But the thing is, how much wear is on these torsion bars? Has he been greasing them? That's the important part, because if you ain't been greasing them, then it goes off at a bit of an angle and then that means every time you go up and down it's twisting and bending and that's when you start but look at that i tell you what he hasn't lost a single bump stop it was a good oh yes actually the bottom of that one's missing yeah still got a bit of rubber on these two surprisingly that's the important thing the gap between there and there um we may number these wheels when we take them off. When we have re rubbered they go back on in the same order. Because um, if there's, there's a lot of pressure on this because of the weight of the track. And it, it makes these unwind. Hey Tim, how are you diddling? Not too bad, not yourself? Yeah, did you visit any relations while you were there? No relations, no, they're all over here. Are they? <laughs> yeah, they know where it's best. So we've lost the bin box off the back. That's strange, I wonder why that's missing. It's in the back. Is it all right, you know, then he's... Um, then he's welded something over the door handle, stop people stealing it. Somebody looks like they've um, tested out the bulletproof glass on the uh, window. The exhaust is in pretty good order. So that's a good thing, because when that gets squashed, you've got a right old problem. Yeah, it's the gap there. That tells you how much wear. Oh, yeah, that's a bit worn on that torsion bar. You can't tell if a torsion bar is broken until you get it on soft ground. And then if you can't see the track doing that, you turn around, put your hands on those, give it a lift, and um, the tracks, they get a rubber in them, but the bushes are all good. These gaps here are all even. Yeah, so, uh, oh, no, that one's buggered. See? And basically what's happened is this bit here with the bushes worn, and then not long before your track snaps. You wouldn't want to go much further than that. I can hear lots of laughing going on. Now, um, I haven't seen these before the kind of deal went ahead. Oh, look at that, look. How do you do that? How do you bend a final drive? Wow. I've never bent a final drive in 30 years. But he hasn't bent his light guards. Amazing. Right, let's go and have a look at the other puppy.